Mod Organizer, created by Tannen in its prime, was easily the most functional mod managing tool available. It allows for all expected mod management functions, as well as being able to see what mods overwrite each other, what files within each mod overwrite each other, and ways to resolve them. You can manage multiple profiles for the same game, and set mods up differently for each. MO even allows you to keep your game's data folder completely untouched to avoid having to reinstall the game due to potential user errors. The list of MO's functionality goes on, and we will cover it all in this series. Mod Organizer, the 32-bit version, as that is what we are covering, can be utilized for four games, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, Oblivion, and Skyrim, the 32-bit version. This is because MO itself is 32-bit and does not function for 64-bit games. Also, when it comes to Oblivion, Mod Organizer can properly manage the game, but there are more than a few extra steps to take, so I personally use Rybash for Test 4. So for me, Mod Organizer handles three games. There will never be a time that I don't use MO for them. Thank you to Tannen for creating Mod Organizer and for maintaining it for so long. Thank you to the Step Wiki community for all of their guides and forum support on MO and for personally teaching me this application inside and out. Let's get it installed. Before anything else, make sure that you have actually launched the game in question from its default executable to establish system registries and file paths. If you haven't, Mod Organizer will not be able to properly detect the game. Guides for how to not only install, but to also show you what each game setting does for each game the MO can be used with are linked in the description for your reference. Most users will already have this installed to their system. MO does not explicitly require the framework to function, but many installers, among other things, will not work without it. Windows 10 users will need to have this installed to avoid the noted Python not installed or found errors. Navigate to the official Mod Organizer Nexus page. Within Files, select Download Manually beneath the 1.3 0.11 installer. The installer will download to your system's default or designated location. Double click the installer to begin. If a security warning window opens, select Run. At the Setup window, select Next. Select I agree. At the Choose Components window, leave all of the activated checkboxes as they are and be sure to also activate Handle Nexus Links, which allows Mod Organizer to utilize Nexus Mods Download with Manager feature for mods that provide it. Otherwise, all mods will have to be downloaded to your system's default location using the Download Manually hyperlink and then installed via the Toolbar's Archive tab Manual Installation option. When finished, select Next. At the Choose Install Location window, select Browse. Navigate to the game folder of the game that you are going to be installing Mod Organizer for. For this example, I will be installing MO for Fallout 3, so I will navigate to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then into the game folder. Select Make New Folder. Name the folder Mod Organizer. The reason that we are doing this is because you need one copy of Mod Organizer for each game that you plan on using it with. If you install MO elsewhere, it will become very easy to confuse files and forget specific security steps that will be covered shortly. When the folder has been created and highlighted, select OK. Select Install. Once the installation process has concluded, select Finish. As mentioned, if using Mod Organizer for multiple games, you will need to perform this process for each of them, installing a new and additional copy into each game folder. Once installation has finished, Mod Organizer will auto-launch. If you receive a message of the day window, select OK. At the Show Tutorial window, select No. Mod Organizer will then open and be ready for use. For now, leave it open. You are going to use the main MO interface a lot, so navigate to the Mod Organizer folder. Steam, Steam Apps, Common, the game folder of which you installed Mod Organizer 2, Mod Organizer. Right-click the Mod Organizer.exe. Send the shortcut to your desktop. If you have yet to do so, you will need to create an account with Nexus Mods to get the most out of Mod Organizer. Don't be misled by what others say, accounts are free. 
when signing up for Nexus, if you don't want a pay option, simply do not activate any of the pay options presented to you and choose Create Account at the bottom of the registry page. At the top left of the interface, on the toolbar, select the Settings, Wrench and Screwdriver tab. Open the Nexus tab. Activate the checkbox for Automatically Log into Nexus. Enter your Nexus username and password. At this point, if you forgot to select the Handle Nexus Links checkbox during installation, select the Associate with Download with Manager Links button. This, as well as entering your login info, will allow you to use Nexus Mod's Download with Manager function. There will be no visual or audible confirmation when selecting the button. Simply click it. Once you have done so, select OK. From the toolbar, select the Nexus tab, globe icon, to be brought back to Nexus via Mod Organizer. This will finalize the connection between the two. To prepare for the next step, download a mod. Yes, download a mod. Any mod. It doesn't matter what one, we aren't even going to install it. We are doing this because after the first time that we download a mod, Mod Organizer will register the available Nexus servers, allowing us preference of them in future use. For those with the option, we are now going to set up our preferred servers. Open the Settings tab again. Open the Nexus tab. At the bottom, in the Known Servers pane, the Nexus Mod servers will now be detected. If you don't have a premium account, you may only be able to use the CDN free option. Click on the server closest to your geographical location. Select it and drag and drop it into the right preferred servers pane. From now on, MO will attempt to use this server before any others to assure the fastest possible mod downloads. Once finished, select OK to save your changes. Archive and Validation allows Mod Organizer to get around Bethesda's data folder timestamps to assure proper mod functionality throughout your entire modding experience. Skyrim Users Select the Settings tab. Select the Workarounds tab. Select the button Backdate BSAs. If you receive a pop-up window, select Yes. When finished, select OK. All Game Users From the main interface, select the Configure Profiles ID icon. This opens the Profiles window, which we will cover in length later on in this series. What we need to do now, for every game that we use Mod Organizer with, and for every profile that we have created, unless specified otherwise, is to activate the Automatic Archive and Validation checkbox. Remember to do this when creating new profiles in the future. After checking the box, select Close. Mod Organizer is now installed, properly set up, and we are ready to start playing and modding our games with it. This has been a Gamer Poets tutorial, Mod Organizer, Installation and Setup. For those who felt that this video was too fast, a text tutorial will be created on Nexus and linked in the description for those who care to view it as time allows. There will be a few more videos in this series that will expand upon and cover everything that Mod Organizer has to offer. The next of which will be downloading mods, how to install them, maintain them, as well as how to do so for different mod types. There will also be many helpful links in this video description regarding everything that we have covered, mentioned, and some more. A big thank you again to Tannen for creating and maintaining and updating Mod Organizer for so many years. At the time of this video, Mod Organizer 2, the version for 64-bit games, is not yet out of its alpha testing stage and it has a lot of bugs, too many for me to want to tackle it and try to create troubleshooting workarounds that will eventually be obsolete anyways. If and when MO2 reaches a complete bug-free working state, I will tackle that application as well. But for now, Thank you to all of you for spending some time with me, and as always, I am Michael of Gamer Poets. Thank you for watching.